Hello, my name is Sydney Meyer, and today I will be talking about the false consensus effect and the false uniqueness effect. Humans are social creatures. We spend most of our time interacting with lots of other humans. Most people would say that they have a pretty good understanding of others, but we are often mistaken when it comes to how other people think, feel, and act. We want other people to relate with us and agree with us, so we often overestimate or underestimate how much others think and act like we do. We make these mistakes to protect our self-image and to make ourselves feel normal in a situation. The phenomenon of overestimating or underestimating how closely someone relates to us can be divided into two terms, the false consensus effect and the false uniqueness effect. Let's start with the false consensus effect. This phenomenon is when a person believes that their opinions, values, or ideas are more commonly shared by others than they really are. People assume that their ways of thinking are shared by the vast majority of the public, and we find support and comfort in that. Believing that our judgments and choices are common and appropriate can be a self-esteem boost because the more we can relate with others, the more comfortable we are with ourselves. This phenomenon often occurs when a person behaves undesirably or unsuccessfully, and they protect themselves by assuming that others do it all the time. For example, Tommy is driving on the highway, and he pulls out his phone and starts texting his girlfriend. Suddenly, a motorcycle cop pulls up and catches him with a phone in his hand. He pulls Tommy over and gives him a ticket. Afterwards, Tommy arrives at his girlfriend's house and tells her, I can't believe I got a ticket. We all text and drive. Everybody uses their phone on the road. This statement is untrue, of course, but it protects Tommy's self-esteem by believing that his experience is common and many people can relate with him. Moving on to the more common phenomenon, the false uniqueness effect. Have you ever felt like your abilities or opinions are rare or unusual? Maybe you pride yourself for having a unique taste in music, and you like that underground band that nobody else knows about. Or maybe you believe that your ability to play softball is special. In reality, many other people share a strong interest in that underground band, and there are many other softball players with just as much skill as yourself. When a person underestimates how many people share their characteristics and abilities, it is known as the false uniqueness effect. The false uniqueness effect is essentially when a person misjudges the similarities that they share between themselves and others. This is usually a form of protecting self-esteem by assuming one's talents are distinctive and rare, but it can also be disheartening when a person learns their skills are not one in a million. For instance, Nick is a high school senior and he is the star football player at his school. He's just been offered a scholarship to play at a big university in the city. This is very exciting for Nick because he's the greatest player in town and this scholarship is his ticket to play in the NFL. When he gets to college, he is shocked to find that all of his teammates are just as good as him. In fact, many are much better. Nick is no longer the football star and has learned that his talents are not as unique as he believed they were. Our minds do interesting things to protect ourselves. On one hand, we mistake our opinions as widespread and common to feel accepted and fit in with the population. And then we mistake our abilities as special and rare to feel unique and stand out from the population. The false consensus effect and the false uniqueness effect are strange phenomena, but they are experienced by everyone. After all, we're only human.